Kyori Sato was one of the earliest dolls in the fashion royalty lineup. She appeared in 2004, three years after the launch dolls, Veronique and Adele, had made their debut. Here are some of the faces of Kyori. Initially cast as the best friend of Veronique and Adele, it wasn't too long before the Japanese beauty simply went bad. There were unexplained disappearances, and the disruptively sudden trips to Japan, impacted on work with the W crew, and drove Veronique crazy in the final year of their friendship. Eventually the facade cracked, and fate brought Adele to Veronique's door. Frustrated, and angry with Veronique for dismissing her, yet unwilling to explain herself, Kyori Sato moved on, and began a modeling contract with W Cosmetics rival company, Misima Corporation. Today, Veronique, who normally doesn't hold grudges, cannot stand Kyori, and will do anything to avoid her. Veronique is truly saddened, and feels totally betrayed by Kyori, alas, this childhood friendship will never be mended. Unknown to Veronique, Kyori met Natalia Fatale a year before her dismissal from W while visiting her family in Japan. The wily Natalia saw both a fellow spirit and an opportunity, revealing to Kyori her big plan to oust her incompetent husband, Perry Marino, and take control of Misima. She promised Sato big bucks, and a brighter future, if she brought back a few secrets from her daily meetings at W. Unsure at first if she should betray her childhood friend, Kyori's greedy side soon took over, and answered the call of Natalia, who turned out to be a much better friend than Veronique. Or so she thought. Kyori started missing shoots, and other important appointments at W, to spend more time with Natalia, which eventually led to her dismissal by her former friend Veronique. Natalia did come through with her promises of fame and fortune, by naming Sato, model coordinator for Misima, and giving her total control over her team of models. All Kyori truly wanted was to be the boss, after all, and she certainly didn't care how she got there. However, the duplicitous Kyori turned her back on Natalia, and showed very little compassion, when the CEO was removed from her post, by the Misima board of directors. In fact, she laughed off the whole matter, and sided with the board to save herself, and strengthen her position in the firm. More recently, Kyori has fallen in love with music mogul Darius Reed, and is currently using him for undisclosed plans. Reed is so enamored with the model, that everyone around them is scared of the potential results if they got married. Kyori Sato really is not the type of woman to mess with. Sato first appeared in the sporty glam slam ensemble, part of the graphic flirtation collection. The zippered top is designed to keep out the cold, the micro shorts, not so much. Perfectly at home, in the guise of urban geisha, an update on tradition, with a bottle of champagne on ice, just as a precaution. Red-blooded woman, indeed. It was no joke getting laced into this number. Looks spectacular. Breathing is optional. Another tightly cinched gown, and what is it with all the alcohol? Cigarettes too. Is there any vice that Curie is not familiar with? A blunt bob looks demurely sweet, in contrast with the plunge neckline mermaid gown. Luckily there are no stairs to negotiate, but let's hope a trip to the bathroom is not called for. Curie's first gift set, was available in both blonde and redhead versions. Work, play, day, night, and bedroom antics are all pretty much covered. Off to the beach for a little R&R. Presumably the jewelry is rust-proof, and the bikini is color-safe. For something hot, Kyori stays cool in a thick tweed dress, with sunglasses and head wrap. Also included, real wood wedgies. Is that something to do with underwear? Appearing together for the first time, the Black as Night gift set combined Natalia Fatale and Kyori Sato in monochrome ensembles. Build as the World of Missima gift set, from the 2006, Hi-Fi, FR in Stereo Convention, at the Jason Wu event.
Taking some time off from plotting their next corporate takeover, Curie and Natalia on a trip to Miami. Getting wet is probably not on their agenda. Wigs galore. Curie was part of the popular modern pompadour collection, which boasted a whole wig wardrobe for the girls to share. Absolutely living dangerously, a surefire way to catch a chill if the central heating conks out. A bit of goth drama, and a nod towards Roland Moray's immensely popular galaxy dress. Mixed cultural references as Curie has a go on the bongos, which are not included, according to the description I have here. Curie has been at the peroxide. She's also back in her comfort zone, a tightly fitted evening gown, as well as a few other desirable pieces. Criminality or acrimony? It's hard to say. We're not given any clues as to what dastardly deeds this pair has been up to. But clearly they got dressed in the dark. In 2008 the main fashion royalty collection was entitled Glamorous, with four basic dolls inspired by minerals. Wearing metallic bodysuits with coordinating shoes, they were launched with the slogan, Mineral Matters. The four dolls were Curie, Adele, Vanessa, and Lucia. Curie was Quicksilver, with platinum hair, a silver corset in faux leather, and shorts made from the same material, as well as silver leather platform shorty boots. Curie goes shopping at some undisclosed location in Eastern Europe. The mini gift set is everything a doll might need for a day out, in sub-zero temperatures. We're not clear on the airline, but the uniform is a winner, especially the fishnet and high heel combo, just perfect for long haul. Chocks Away, another runway-ready flight attendant look, featuring Curie's favorite black and navy colorway. The Dazzle Collection of 2010, was a photoshoot for Vanessa Perrin's inspiration for the new W Cosmetics campaign. Following a thawing of relations, Curie had a big presence, appearing in gift set form. Deceptively yours Curie Sato wore the sequin dress and 60s beehive combo of the collection, but she also has a gown, and a checkered suit, all completed with a suite of jewelry. At the Jet Set convention of 2011, Mistress of Mayhem Curie Sato was the table centerpiece doll, appearing as no reservations. Very glamorous in late 50s to early 60s styling, the doll wore a dress and jacket outfit, with an era-appropriate hat. A last outing for Curie 1.0. After Rising Sun, a new face sculpt for the doll was to be introduced. 2012 introduced Curie's new face. The inspiration for the style directive collection was fashions of the 1940s to 50s with a modern twist, according to the designer, Von Sawyers. The new sculpt was a hit with collectors, as this doll sold out immediately. The doll was presented as a gift set, featuring several looks, including a belted mermaid evening gown, with plunge neckline and a draped skirt, a two-piece suit with removable fur collar, and a saucy lingerie set. Accessories included a Bottega Veneta-inspired leather bag, gladiator shoes, and chunky jewelry. Curie appeared beach-ready at the 2012 Tropicalia convention. This was the second outing for the new sculpt introduced earlier that year. She's channeling a Parisian lady, on vacay in Saint-Tropez, as opposed to the tropics. The Fashion Royalty Upgrade Doll for 2013 Black Pink Capelet Bibbidi bobbidi hat with veil Yep, there you go For the 2013 premiere convention, Curie went back to her Asian roots, appearing in an elegant Chang Som, or Chi Pao dress, worn with just the right degree of attitude and complemented by elegant shoes and jewelry. For 2014, Integrity Toys introduced four basic edition dolls, following on from the three dolls released in 2013. The concept was to release older head sculpts on newer bodies, available only to W Club members via a lottery. 
Curie was produced in an AA skin tone, using the original sculpt, and dressed in a jacquard belted cocktail dress, with matching shoes, and a doll stand. A suitably high gloss Curie for the gloss convention. Exuding old time Hollywood glamour, with a hint of danger, this doll is truly a femme fatale for the modern age. Urban Safari of 2014 gave us Curie Sato as Faded Desert. There were plenty of mix and match opportunities with all of the other doll's outfits in this collection. The 2015 cinematic convention showed us Curie Sato channeling her inner Ava Gardner, in elegant underwear as evening wear. A slip dress of blush satin, with contrast black lace trim. A quite different look for Curie in the 2015 Fashion Royalty Main Collection, a blonde bombshell of a doll in a plunging V-neck sequin dress, with a sateen wrap skirt, and a faux belted detail. The ensemble was designed by Vaughn Sawyers, and includes large frame sunglasses, a black oversized clutch purse, earrings, and faux patent leather strappy sandals. The delicate bloom collection of 2016, proved to be controversial, as a new hybrid type of detailing for the eyes was introduced. The eyes were applied decals, and the eye makeup was painted with stencils, as previously. These eyes were first used on the upgrade Vanessa Club doll, and the IFDC Dasha Annika doll. Some sharp-eyed collectors spotted that these dolls had wonky eyes, and the use of decals was acknowledged. For this collection, a Curie with decal eyes wears a faux leather dress, with Japanese-style embroidery. An eclectic mix of colors pulls the outfit and accessories together. In 2016, it was the supermodel convention. Curie was in another go-to black dress, with Versace-inspired jewelry. In this incarnation, she is reminiscent of Dangerous to Know Curie, from the premiere convention of 2013. At the Lux Life convention of 2018, Curie appeared in dramatic makeup and an ensemble that was reminiscent of a McQueen-inspired dress from the heist convention. Curie made a welcome return in 2020, in a fall-winter 2017 Gautier Couture-inspired outfit. The asymmetrical outfit blends Indian and Couture influences, with a bodysuit that allows for an easy transition from day to evening. The jewelry is understated, but the thigh-high boots are not. The legendary convention of 2020 brought us a tantalizing glimpse of the now rarely seen Curie Sato. She made a brief appearance as one of the Style Lab dolls. Is this the last we've seen of her? Best friends, her models, although none of her friendships are sincere or serious. Arch foe, the W crew. Love interest, Darius Reed. Mentor and personal guide, Natalia Fatal for a while, but now only listens to her gut feelings, that's what keeps her on top. Loves, to stir trouble and cause mischief in public. Hates. Goody Two Shoes Vanessa Perrin. 